Hello, uh, this is Narain Water Level Controller model WLC20. So this video is just to explain the different kinds of settings that can be done on this particular water level controller. So this is just the setting uh, video. So the operation is all explained on the other videos which will be uh, shared in the description. So uh, when you power on the system, uh, there will be a power on delay after which uh, the system will always display the incoming supply voltage. So there are basically three different levels of settings that can be done. So that is uh, the provision has been given to the user. So just in case if you want to uh, do any changes to the settings, you can uh, follow these instructions now. So the first set of settings. So as, as I told, uh, you can always read the incoming voltage. Now uh, we've connected the single phase uh, power supply. This is a single phase product. So you're reading the incoming supply voltage, which is around 252. So now the first set of settings are you will have to uh, uh, right below the display you will see three keys. So one is the set button, one is the decrease button and one is the increase button. So the common uh, uh, steps you will have to follow is once you enter the settings. So you know, if you want to increase the value you will press the right button. If you want to decrease the value you will press the uh, left button. And if you want to uh, set or save the setting you will press the set button. Now let's move on to the first level of so the first set of settings. The first set you will have to press the first and last button. So whenever it is showing voltage, pressing the first and last button together will enter the first set of settings. So it says dry and it will give out a number which is 90 here. So dry is nothing but the dry run tripping time that is when we would have given the dry run probes here. So once the motor turns on and uh, it, the controller will wait for the water to fall on the dry run sensor. So suppose uh, the water doesn't fall on the dry run sensor after a set time, that is when the uh, controller switches off the motor and enters the uh, dry run uh, error mode. Okay. So this is the time for which the uh, controller has to wait for the water to fall on the dry run sensor. So this is in seconds, you can increase or decrease the value, it is set to 90 seconds which is close to one and a half minute. If you want to increase the number, you can make use of the right key and if you want to decrease the number, you can press the left key. So whatever number you want, you can arrive at that and press the center button. So dry run tripping time is the time for which the controller should wait for the water to fall on the dry run sensor before it uh, trips the motor because of dry run. So this is the first setting. So after this is set, we will have to press the center button. It then asks for POD. POD is nothing but the power on delay. So as soon as we start the system, uh, you have noticed that the system waited for a 15 second time interval. So that is the power on delay. So you can increase or decrease the value based on your uh, uh, convenience. Usually the factory set value is around 10 seconds. So whenever the power comes back, it will wait for a set time. That is the power on delay. So this is given intentionally in order to allow uh, the voltage instabilities to stabilize so that uh, the water level controller can go ahead with its operation after that. So. Uh, we will again brief about the first uh, set of settings. So when the voltage is getting displayed, you will have to press and hold first and last buttons together. First setting will be the dry run trip time. And after you uh, set the value, then it will ask for the POD, which is power on delay, again, which is in seconds. So this is the time for which you, your controller will wait after it powers on very first time. So once this is done, you will press the set button. So uh, power on delay, you can always see when you switch off the system and switch on it will wait for uh, the set power on delay so the power on delay is usually set to 10 seconds the factory setting so you can increase or decrease based on your application so this is the first set of settings so uh, we'll go ahead to the next set of settings which is the low voltage and high voltage uh, values so low voltage and high voltage settings as you might as you are aware this particular product uh, offers the old low voltage and high voltage protection that is whenever the incoming supply voltage goes below the set low voltage mark the motor turns off uh, and similarly if the voltage is above the high voltage mark the motor again turns off so whenever the voltage uh, is between the set low voltage and high voltage bands that is when uh, you will see this green color light glowing and the water level uh, operation continue so in order to set the low voltage and high voltage values, you will have to uh, switch off the system. So press and hold uh, the first and last key. Okay, sorry. Uh, you, so in order to set the voltage, this one, you will have to press the center key and then uh, power on the system. So, so I have pressed and hold the center key and then switch on. It will ask for LV. LV is the low voltage setting. So low voltage setting is set to 170 because it's a single phase uh, product. You can, if it is a three phase product, you can 
set it to the according voltage so low voltage you can increase the value or decrease the value after uh, you uh, arrive at a right value which is voltage now you can press the center button it will then ask for hv hv is again the high voltage setting so you can increase or decrease based on your requirement and then press the center button so this is the voltage setting so i will repeat again you will have to power off the system press uh, and hold the center key and then power on the system so once you enter the setting you have to release the button so this is the number which uh, has been previously set you can uh, vary the settings and press the set button it will then again ask for hv which is high voltage value you can vary and again press the set button so uh, this is with respect to the voltage uh, settings so then we can move ahead for the third set of settings so third set of settings in order to enter you will have to press and hold the first and last button and then switch on the system so pressing and holding and switching on the system uh, it last the first uh, what is called as pls so you need not worry about pls it's it's a factory setting which is given here so after pls you will have to press the set button it will ask for onl onl is on level so this is whenever uh, this is the level uh, so whenever the water comes below the set level mark that is when the motor turns on okay if it is set to 1 so that means it is 50% it will it will start from uh, the bottom which is 0 25% one is for 50% and two is for 75% if at all you set it to two so this means whenever the water level comes below the 75% mark that is when the motor turns on so if you set it to you know uh, one it says whenever the water level comes below the 50% mark you want the motor to turn on so this is how it is this is called as on level you can uh, change it according to your convenience okay then uh, after the setting is done you will press the set button it says are you n run is nothing but the uh, maximum run time which is in minutes i will just brief you up about the setting so uh, let us assume your tank takes up around 30 minutes to fill up completely from the bottom so this run time is nothing but a time for which you will wait now suppose let us assume there is a scenario wherein the sensor uh, which has to turn off the motor after the tank fills up has failed due to some reason so in that scenario the motor will keep on uh, the motor will will be kept on because uh, we we are not getting the feedback from the sensor because of which there, there is a chance of water overflowing out of the tank so in that condition if some, no one notices uh, this operation then it might cause uh, the motor to uh, run for a long time so that is why we have given this runtime option so after this runtime uh, this is uh, always in minutes uh, it was it will be usually set to 100 minutes by default so you can increase or decrease the value so this is the run time suppose we have set uh, uh, the run time to 50 minutes okay so the tank to fill up from bottom will take around 30 minutes so the controller will wait for 50th minute so even if the uh, uh, the controller doesn't get the feedback at the 50th minute from uh, the uh, overflow sensor that is when it senses something is uh, not right and it switches off the system so i repeat again uh, the runtime is the total time for which the controller will wait uh, before it switches off. So, the runtime should always be kept at maybe uh, twice the value for which uh, the time uh, your overhead tank takes to fill up. Suppose if your overhead tank takes around 30 minutes to fill up from zero level, you will have to set the runtime to about uh, maybe 50 minutes. So, in that scenario, just in case, even after 50 minutes, if the controller if it doesn't get a feedback from the overflow sensor, that is when it switches off. Uh, by sensing something is faulty so whenever uh, the controller switches off the system because of the runtime it will enter the error condition so it will wait for the user to manually uh, you know uh, trigger or manually give the ok till it uh, continues the operation so this is the runtime setting i'll repeat again in order to enter the setting you will have to press and hold, switch off the system press and hold the first and last keys and switch it on again this pls you need not worry then onl is the on level so after that is set you will have to we will go for the run time which is in minutes you can increase or decrease so this can be set up to 500 minutes so based on your application you can arrive at whatever value you want and then you can press set, set button this is it is set to 100 minutes by default from the factory then it asks for od od is nothing but the on delay so whenever the water level comes below the desired mark so this is the uh, time interval for which the controller will wait before it switches on the motor this is always in seconds so three seconds is what we give uh, in standard so whenever the water level comes below the desired uh, turn on mark the controller will just wait for a small delay in seconds before switching on the system 
so this is given uh, because in, in some uh, conditions where they are using uh, this controller in the RO plants they would want uh, the controller to switch on at different intervals even if the uh, you know the level is uh, low so that is an option so you, uh, the regular uh, users need not worry about uh, this particular OD option so the main thing you need to worry about is uh, the on level and uh, the uh, maximum runtime these are the very two important features and I'll just brief about uh, the uh, all the three sets of settings. So the first set of setting is you know you'll have to uh, press and hold the whenever it is showing voltage you'll have to press first and last keys together. It'll ask for the dry run tripping time, after which it'll ask for the power on delay. So these two settings will be there. Then the next set of settings, which is the voltage setting, you'll have to switch off, press and hold the center button and switch it on again. It'll ask for the low voltage setting first, and then you'll have to set then it lasts for the high voltage value it will increase and decrease and you can again press the set key it will then enter uh, it will come out of the setting the third set of settings again will be to switch off the uh, uh, controller press and hold the first and last button and switch it on again it will ask for PLS which is uh, you, know, you know you need not worry about the setting O and L is the on level so one will be 50% two will, will be 75% whenever water comes below the set mark that is when the motor turns on then once this is done it will ask for the maximum runtime which is the time for which the controller will wait before switching off the system uh, even if the uh, motor is on so whenever it switches off due to this uh, it will enter the dry run mode so this is a very important setting because uh, this actually prevents overflowing of water okay. so then after this uh, there is this on delay or OD uh, which is a small delay for which the controller should wait before switching on the system after the level uh, desired level uh, the water becomes lower than the desired level so after all these settings are done you'll have to just press the uh, send key so that you will be coming out of all these so uh, this uh, we, this particular video was just to explain all the different kinds of options which are given to the users in a rain water level controller model WLC20 so this uh, set of settings is common for all the WLC20 models may it be the monoblock pumps may it be the single phase submersible pumps or the three phase submersible pumps I hope the video was clear. Just in case if you have any queries, you can always reach us on 997224374. I repeat, it's 997224374. You can also browse our website for more details. Our website address is www.narainelectrics.in. Thank you for watching this video.